Hi guys, Jordan Vieira back with another video. I'm going to be showing you guys a new client. And basically, it's a lot different than most clients. This client is a application bot client, which means you can have, I guess, you could remote control VR chat accounts all through your VR chat menu with the client button. Um, I have one of my bots loaded in here. I only have one signed in. But um, I will demonstrate some things for you guys. Um, if you go under bots, you could start and you can stop the bots. Um, you could also have the bot join your world. You could have it go home. Um, there's a lot of other things you can do as well. Um, you could also go to voice. And you can like mute in game. But like talk through the bot. Which, let me turn up my voices. My voices. There we go. There we go. So if you want to talk so to somebody, if you want to talk to somebody, let's say if you got like, let's blocked, say if you got like blocked, you could just spawn in a, you could just bot spawn in a and then just bot, talk to the and then bot. just talk to the bot. But um, anyways, but, um, let me turn that on. anyways, let me. Turn there are other things too, such as it has a bunch of antis, which the antis are actually really good. Um, the basic anti, I would recommend having on. But the only thing is, is that if you leave that on, I think on some avatars, you won't be able to see people do toggles, which if you don't care about that, then I would turn that on. Um, if you turn on an anti udon and you go to like FPT heaven, all the doors will force unlock. Um, you could join worlds invisible. You could lock a world so people, people can't join, but you do have to be room master for that. Block serialization basically blocks your movement of your, you know, player. Um, there's some other things I want to show you guys too. Oh yeah, optimize. Now you have a bunch of optimization toggles in here and I have them off just for the video, but if you have them all turned on, your bot will use hardly any local PC resources. So the CPU usage on the bot is not going to affect you at all if you have all the optimizations on. Um, there's also exploits, which I'm not going to show you guys these exploits because I'm not toxic, but, um, let's see, uh, let me go back. And then also if you go to motion, you can teleport the bot to you. Um, you can also, you know, change your orbit distance uh speed and mimic distance you can also change rotation of the bot which is kind of cool um the one thing that is really handy at least to me just to kind of like troll if you click become bot i'll basically on this screen you just choose which bot number which this is bot number one I click enter now i become the bot so i can talk through the bot and i could also all my movement goes through the bot, but my main account will stay in the world, but it'll just be frozen. So you can kind of like troll and trick people and uh, just like basically in other words, you can swap accounts while being in the same world, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Um, um, I clicked the right uh, trackpad on the index controller and then it puts me back. Um, there's some other things that are pretty cool too, which I can show you guys here. Um, actually, let's see. Pose, basically, if you were to click on somebody, you can record their, like, any full body or VR movement. You could copy all their movement to a file and you could play it back whenever you want. There's some other things as well. Um... Obviously, you know, you have like force cloning. You could click bot clone to clone other people's avatars to the bot without it cloning for you. Um, you could copy people voices if they're talking. Uh, let's see. There's a bunch of other stuff too. The pose recording is one thing that I like to mess with because if you're in, let's say, like FPT heaven, you could record somebody's dances, which I have a bunch of people's dances here. And they're not going to play correctly because it was recorded in FBT. But um, if you go like up here, you can see like it'll play their full body movement, which is 
really cool. If I were to play that in FBT Heaven, it would be on this stage. But um, that's like a really neat feature. Um, let me turn that off. You can also go to audio, which I'm not going to play any because I don't want any copyright strikes. But uh, you could have audio play through the bot too. So you could use the bot as a DJ if you want. Um, trying to see or think of anything else that you guys would probably be interested in. Um, I think that's about it. Um, other than the other things I showed you when you click on people, but if you go to worlds tab, you can go to, let's say Japan shrine. You could click bot get players and the bot will join that world. So you don't have to join it. And if you look in your melon loader, like console, like on your desktop, um, it'll output the players, like everybody that's in that world. So if you're trying to join a world, but you want to see who's in there before joining, you just click that button on the worlds tab and the bot will join for you and it'll pull the player list and put it in your melon loader console, which is pretty cool. I don't have a use for it, but maybe you're avoiding somebody and, uh, you know, that'd be a good thing <laughs> to see who's in there. Um, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Um, you know, if you want to set up the bots, you just click the setup button here. You click login bot. And what this will do is it'll open a window on your computer. You have to sign into whatever account you want to use as a bot. And once you do that, you can close that VR chat window that pops up. And then you go to bots and you click start. Then that's how you would like start that bot. Um, for the bots, you basically just have to make a bunch of VR chat accounts. And, you know, if you want one bot, obviously, <clears throat> just use one VR chat account. If you want to load, like, four bots, then you would want to, um, you know, make four accounts. Maybe you have accounts already. But that pretty much wraps it up. There may be other things that I'm missing on here, but, um, that's pretty much it other than, like, the top of my head that I'm thinking of. There is like a VR player list, which is pretty cool. It'll show you anybody that's invisible that join your world, but that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you guys have any, you know, questions or whatever, you could, you know, comment it. I'll try to get back whenever I can, or I'll put the Discord link for the client in the description and you could put in their chat channel on Discord and they have support that will help. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's any other clients or anything else you guys want me to make a video for, just drop it in the comments and I'll look and see what I can do.